only 4,600 square feet, and I did a million dollars in revenue in one month. Houston is one of the top 10 cities in the entire world with the most millionaires. Today, we're gonna to be asking Houston millionaires how they became wealthy. What was the most amount of money that you ever made in a single year? Somewhere between 2.5 to 5. Million? Yeah. That's incredible, man. Yeah. What industry did you ultimately pursue a the career in? The frontier space. What exactly are you doing? So basically private jet charter, yacht charter, exotic cars, the whole nine yards. What is the best piece of advice that you would tell your younger self? Um, your network is your network. Keep the right people around you who push you, and that's all that matters. You're gonna go far in life that way. Where are you from originally? Nigeria. Came a long way from back there, right? Are you living in Houston now? Or? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What was the best financial decision that you ever made throughout your lifetime? Um, just learn to hold on to money. The trick to being like financially well off is being able to hold money. A lot of people can make a lot of money, but the trick is being able to hold on to that money. So the moment I figured out how to keep a lot of money, I was good. First interview of the day goes crazy. Guy makes two to five million dollars, has an exotic car business, and he's a private jet concierge. Let's see what else the day has in store. What industry did you ultimately pursue a career in? Great question. I started off doing computer science. I was going to college because my parents expected me to, but my heart really wasn't into it. I later found my passion was in the study of life and biology. So I ended up becoming a doctor. I'm an emergency room doctor now. But even then, I switched industries. I still am a doctor, but I wanted to learn business and real estate. So now I'm building some lake homes on the north side of town, but I'm still learning. I'm in the early first couple years of that process. So you are a business owner? I am now, yeah. Okay. So I think you got to follow your passion, but it's okay for passions to be redirected as you get a little older. I once heard a wise man say you should only have a job long enough to learn what you can from it at that point it's time to move on what is the most amount of money that you ever made in a single year <laughs> um, i usually don't say that but i guess uh, for the purposes of education there's years where i lost money but the years where i made good money let's say around four to five million then you can offset some losses and then reinvest that into growth and if you were to go back to when you first started that business what is the number one thing that you would have told yourself yeah you know the first one's always the hardest it took me years to make it profitable. You know, there was times where I worked like 96 hours straight. I think the biggest piece of advice on your first business is gonna be lose the ego. Everybody wants to have a business, everybody wants to make money, but when things aren't going right, everybody wants to blame somebody else. It doesn't matter if it's anybody else's fault, it's your business. Take the blame for everything. Even if it's so-and-so did messed up on it, it doesn't matter, you picked them. You gotta ask yourself, how could I have picked them better? How can I train them better? How can I motivate them better? So if you lose the ego, blame yourself for everything, then you'll always find the right corrections to make it work. Where do you think people should look to invest their money to try and grow and scale? the income that they do have. I think rule number one in business is almost everybody will try to take advantage of you, especially when you're new and trusting. So before I say that, I say don't give it to anybody. Investments are very tricky. One is you got to save. We said when you become 20 is when you want to spend money on that new car right away. I didn't have my first nice car till I was 30 years old. Uh, if you spend all your money too fast, you won't be able to have the money to invest in something that might have an opportunity. What industry did you ultimately pursue a career in? I'm in the marine industry. I'm a ship captain. Offshore oil and gas. What is the best piece of advice that you would tell your younger self? Follow your dreams. You only have one life and life Life is finite. You're born, you die. Everybody dies. Follow your dreams. Do everything with passion. Whether it's your work or your pursuits, your hobbies, whatever. Enjoy. We're at one of the most popular restaurants in Houston, Texas, and we're going to go in and see if we can get an interview with the owner. In what industry did you ultimately pursue a career in? Hospitality, restaurant business. I started waiting tables at age 16 and I worked my way up and now I own my own restaurant. So you own this restaurant right here? Yes, sir. What is the most amount of money that you ever made in a single year? Well, this past year, December, I'm only 4,600 square feet and I did a million dollars in revenue revenue in one month. And that's like $2,300, $2,400 a square foot. Nobody in this city does that. And what about for the whole year? The whole year, I ended up doing right under $10 million. Most people would be happy doing $4 million out of this size. I did $10 million. My goal is next year is to grow. And what I do is I tell all my key employees, I will write you a check. It could be $5,000, it could be $10,000 if I reach this number at the end of the year. If you were to go back to when you started that first business, what is the number one thing that you would tell yourself? Get everything written out in paperwork. When you open a business with a partner, always make sure Sure there's a decision maker, someone on the board of directors that can make a decision if you and your partner do not agree on certain things. Communication is key. That's the number one thing in any successful business. You got to communicate with your partner or your vendors or whatever it makes you successful. How can someone become wealthy today? I've heard from many wealthy billionaires. They don't invest in businesses. They invest in people. I'm here seven days a week, seven lunches, seven dinners. I never leave. I rarely take a break. I got two Porsches in my garage. I, they have no miles on them because I'm never home to drive them. But I love what I do. I, I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. So I think showing up and being 100% yourself and being true to your business, just being there. I know every customer on this patio and know every customer inside and I touch every single table. I make everyone feel special. And you had brought up earlier that you never say no. Can you kind of explain that? In the restaurant business, 
the last thing a customer wants to hear, especially when he pulls up in a Ferrari, is the word no. So when they come in, if we're fully booked with reservations, we say things like we're fully committed at this point. I never use the word no because no one wants to hear that. So I said, I can make anything happen. That's my motto. If they want a car from the Rolls Royce dealer delivered here, I will go get it, add 20% to the check and bring them a Rolls Royce. I do not wow, say no. Man. Gotta be one of my favorite interviews I've ever done. An incredible guy all around and just very thankful for his time. I mean, I mean this man is literally in the middle of a lunch rush right here on a Sunday afternoon at his restaurant and took the time to come answer a few questions for us. We are seeing, we were watching him. He is touching every table and talking to every customer in there. Damn, what a, what a great entrepreneur, entrepreneur spirit, man. We just saw Cam Jackson, who's a really big entrepreneur on social media, walking his dog. So we're gonna go after him, see if we can get this interview real quick. In, in what industry did you ultimately pursue a career? Um, real estate, yeah, so I do real estate investing. And so are you a business owner by any chance? Yes, I actually have some restaurants in Louisiana and a uh, shipping container park basically is what it is in That's Louisiana. Amazing. So what's your best advice to someone who's trying to start buying property today? I would say get into the areas that are starting to gentrify, but you gotta get there early. Find those areas, find people that are investing already, see where they're investing, and then get around schools, anywhere that they're doing new HEBs or doing you know Amazon shopping centers, get there when they're doing those and start getting some real estate there. You were to go back to when you started that first business, what is the number one thing that you would have told you Yourself. Get around more people that are doing what you want to do and find a mentor. Continue to get better. You're always going to continue to get better. Don't worry about being perfect. And um, advice I'll tell somebody today, just start. What was the most amount of money that you ever made in a single year? Most money? Yeah. Two million dollars. What is the best piece of advice that you would tell your younger self? I would say that they need to think in how to grow their own business and not to be an employee. So did you become a business owner? I was an employee for 23 years, but now I have my own company. And if somebody will teach me in the university that the best will be to have your own business, I will follow that. So what exactly? is your company right now? We are in the propane business. We export propane into Mexico. If you were to go back to when you started that first business, what is the number one thing that you would have told yourself? I would say the most important in life is relationships. How to do relationships, do business, that's the best. What is the best piece of advice that you would tell your younger self? Yeah. Well, I dropped out of college. I wouldn't really give myself a lot of advice. What industry did you ultimately pursue a career in? I mean, I was advertising sales, then I sold Lexus at 23, mortgage loan officer at 25, and then I opened a mortgage company, and now I own a company, worldclass.com, where importers sell to find restaurant. So as an entrepreneur, if you were to go back to when you started that first business, what is the number one thing that you would have told yourself? I probably would have raised capital and I would have yeah, surrounded myself with really good people from day one. Things that I've never done. I've never raised capital. I've never surrounded myself day one with a great team. You have those two things, you, you're going to go. When you're starting to make that money though, you're looking to kind of invest, put it in different places. I mean, real estate is number one. And then you should have a, a cushion, six to 12 months of your spend. And then from there, as far as stocks, S&P 500. I mean, if Warren Buffett's going to bet a million dollars against the top 10 hedge funds and win 10 out 10 times over a decade. Why are you going to try to be better than the best Goldman Sachs? I mean, just buy the S&P 500. That's it. What's the number one mindset change that is needed in order to become a multimillionaire? You just can't be a sheep. Let's say you get off the freeway and you have 15 people in one lane. Yeah. Then you can turn left and there's one or two here. Everyone just keeps lining up behind that. Yeah, fifth. Yeah, yeah. You can't just do what everyone else is doing and you have to constantly change yourself all the time. What industry did you ultimately pursue a career in? I do medical sales. I do implant sales. I only do foot and ankle. I don't do anything exciting. What's the most amount of money that you ever made in a single year? About 400, 500,000. What has been your secret to sales throughout your career? You really have to push yourself and you never say no. You tell those doctors, you tell whoever you're selling to, you want my product because it's the best. Keep showing them your customer service. You keep showing them yourself because in sales, it is you that they're buying. It's your customer service. It's your commitment to them and making sure that they have everything that they want and you never give up on them. Are, are you an investor? I invest all my money. What's your best investment advice to the younger generation? I think the key is that you never stop investing in yourself. You never stop investing in, in real estate. If you were to go back to when you were in either high school or college and you're having a conversation with your 20 year old self, what is the best piece of advice that you would tell your younger self? Do exactly what I did. Go to college and get a degree in engineering. Are you a business owner by any chance? No, no. Just electrical engineer in project management. What was the most amount of money that you ever made in a single year? Uh, $300,000. 300000 yeah. And do you think a college degree is necessary to be successful in today's society? No. Why not? Depends on your skill set. So you might be a, a brilliant entrepreneur and be able to be an Elon Musk or whoever without having a college degree. I don't think you have one. In what industry did you guys ultimately pursue a career in? Both of us are in real estate. I, I built homes and commercial real estate. How, what's your best advice to anybody starting out in sales in today's world? You always sell yourself first. If they like you, they'll buy from you. And ask a bunch of questions. You know, people will sell themselves on you. 
if you ask enough questions. What is the number one skill that is needed to be successful in the business world? What you just talked about. If you can sell yourself, I don't care what industry you're in, you can be an accountant, you can be an engineer. If you cannot sell yourself, you're not gonna be successful anywhere. That wraps up our weekend in Houston. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for tons of amazing content coming soon. And click this video right here to watch us going around wealthy neighborhoods asking millionaires how they got rich.